हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट ए साइड बार फ्लोटिंग फ्लोटिंग सोशल मेन्यू इन साइड योर एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन सो मैनी वेबसाइट्स हैव दिस सो दिस इज समथिंग लाइक दिस यू विल सी दिस इज अ डेमो सो राइट एट द बॉटम राइट कॉर्नर ऑफ द स्क्रीन दे हैव दिस मेन्यू so it sticks it floats around whenever the visitor visits the website so it is very much useful in sharing the website or getting the user attention so we will be building this uh, floating kind of action we will see that this is the demo of the application we will be building so if you just hover on to it you will see all the social networks they can follow you on github uh, facebook all these you can add this accordingly so whenever you click something on it you will be redirected to the github repository github profile of that person which has created it so that way the users can interact with you by using their social networks so you can also click on it individual so this is the floating bar it sticks whether you scroll this page so it appears at the bottom right corner of the screen so this is built using angular library third party library which is called as ng2 floating menu so uh, ng2 floating action menu so basically if you just type it ng2 floating action menu this is the actual module that we are using here so this is its uh, documentation and uh, it is a github npm repository so you will just see here this is the way by which you can install this simply import this inside your app.module.ts file and simply include this html part and this one i will be guiding you step by step i will be showing you all the options that it has so in order to build this i have given all the source code in the video description if you want to download all the source code just go to the video description link so inside the inside the edit portion inside description of this video i have given all the source code just click it and after this let's start building this application so i have created this angular project let me delete all this and start from scratch so let me delete all the lines and start from scratch so this is the brand new angular application you will see no, uh, nothing is there so just open your app.module.ts file which is present inside app folder so right here inside this file first of all you need to install this module the command is pretty simple which is uh, ng2 floating action menu so basically you just need to go to your command prompt and uh, just type this command which is npm i ng2 floating action menu so basically just uh, install this module by this command so it will not work with angular 13 by this command so you need to force it just put a dash dash force option so basically it will force the download and it will resolve the compatibility issues so now the module is installed so now you simply need to add it inside your app.module.ts file so for the for this you need to write this line which is uh, you need to import this module import it from the dependency which we have installed which is ng2 floating action menu so from this we need to uh, floating action menu module so just import this and now you need to add this inside the import array so just import it floating action menu model module so now this is complete so just close this file now open the app.component.html file so right here inside your ng2 we will declare this directive of this library action menu so this is the directive so basically it takes some options so in the documentation it is uh, described what is the meaning of each option so i will be replace just doing it placement how you need to place your uh, floating action menus so we, have, we will be declaring a variable which is called as config dot placement 
inside this uh, app dot component or ts file so don't worry about it then we have got the effect variable which is something uh, what effect you need to apply to it again we will use config dot effect the label which appears on the actual menu icons so this will be again config dot label so icon you can also attach custom icons by using this icon class variable so this will be config icon class and then we got active icon class which is similar whenever the social whenever you hover onto any of the individual menu items what is the icon class you need to attach so this will again come through the config variable which we will declare later on so conf active icon class next we got is the toggle option so this is very much useful there are two available options available whenever you click on the menu the menu will appear or if you hover onto it so again we will toggle it using the toggle variable and then we got the buttons so how many menu items you need to display so this will be coming through the buttons array that's it so this is all the options which is necessary for this uh, directive now we need to move on to the app.component.ts file so right here we need to declare all these variables that we have attached in the app.component.html file so the very first thing we will de declare is the buttons array so after this title so basically you also need to declare the config variable just declare it so just declare it any and after that we will declare the buttons array so this this will be a array of uh, floating buttons which will be appearing on the website so this will be floating action button so this will be you can see automatically it has imported this line at the very top visual studio code automatically does this for me so we don't need to manually write it so simply close the stack and is equal to this will be an array so simply a square bracket so inside this we will declare individual object for each object we have called the icon class which we can attach it so this one will be for github so we will be ion social github and the label whichever label you need to attach so this will be simply follow me on github put a comma and then whenever someone clicks on it so what will happen so on click property is also there so whenever someone clicks on it what happens so we will be redirect the user to the actual page of uh, the creator so we will simply say window.location.hrf so my github profile i will redirect the user github.com slash kothi123456 so this is one action button is added successfully so in the same manner you can put a comma and you can add some more buttons so the pattern will be similar again you need to provide the icon class which will be now this one for the facebook and uh, you can give it a label follow me on facebook put a comma what happens on click so whenever someone clicks on it what will happen so you can redirect the user to your facebook profile so simply again redirect them using this property so after this we have added two buttons here so now we need to uh, uh, just tell the placements how the placements will be there how the buttons will appear so we have got the placements array this will again be an array so for each array and we will have a object the value will be br so this will be bottom right corner of the screen which is a default position bottom right the next position is uh, bottom left 
if you want to appear this menu items in the bottom left position you will write bl and the key will be simply bottom left put a comma and then we got the top right position so this will be tr so the key will be here top right and uh, this needs to be surrounded your quotes so top right the next position is uh, top left so we will have uh, tl and the key will be here top left so these are the four placements guys top left top right bottom left bottom right so we have declared all the positions here so after this we will have our effects array so how you need to apply the effects to the menu items so this will be again be a array so inside each array we will have a object the value will be uh, mfb zoom in so these are the different effects you can apply so this will be zoom in zoom in effect so you can try out individual effect based upon what you like the next effect is uh, mfb slide in so this is slide in effect so the key is simply slide in plus fade the next effect is uh, if you see this is this is effect is mfb fountain so this effect is called as fountain effect and the next and the last effect is mfb slide in spring so this is a spring effect if you see slide in in the parentheses spring so these are all the effects four effects are there zoom in slide in fade fountain and slide in spring so lastly we have got the toggle how you need to appear this menu items basically these are two ways either you can click on the menu item or you can hover onto it so these are the two toggle effect you can apply and lastly we will apply the effects using the constructor property so we will use the config object so this config object we are using inside app.component.html you will see this config.placement config.effect config.label so here you need to initialize this object here which is we are exactly we are doing this thing here so here we will be telling the placement which is uh, we will be putting this in the bottom right position so br then we will be putting uh, the effect will be mfb zoom in then the label will be main button label icon class we will be using this class which is ion plus round you can read the documentation you can change these options accordingly if you don't want these options active icon class ion close round and for the toggle we will use uh, the click this time so basically whenever you click the menu item the items will appear and for the buttons we will initialize it to the this dot buttons array that we have declared you will see that this is the array we have declared so we are using it inside our constructor so now basically if you run this application by using ng serve so basically this will start this application hopefully at localhost 4200 so you will see it has compiled it successfully so we can open this inside so you can see that guys this is uh, if you see So this is main button label. Uh, 
uh, I think we have made a mistake here in typing the stuff. Let me see. So the source code will be there inside video description guys let me just uh, sometimes the errors can come because uh, you are typing it live so that's why the errors can come So now you can see that guys it is appearing on the bottom right position here so basically whenever you hover onto it you will see that so you can change this behavior so if I can change this position let's suppose I don't want it in bottom right I can change this to top right I can change to TR so now basically if I see it is appearing on top right position you will see that if I want it to top left I can change it you will see that it will appear now on top left and uh, lastly which is uh, bottom left BL so let me change the face here let me you will see it is appearing here so in this way guys you can just pinpoint the position exactly place where you ne need the items to place in whichever position you want and uh, one more thing you can also toggle here you can change the if you want to click it so whenever we click the items it will appear now so whenever you hover nothing will happen you need to individually click it so if you click it now it will be saying you can see that so if you click on individual links it will go to the github repository you will see that so first of all hit the like button subscribe the channel all the source code will be there inside video description so you can also change the effects also which is there so various effects are there so you can have uh, mfp fountain effect so this is the fountain effect is there you will see this is fountain how this animations are taking place you will see that then we have this uh, slide in spring so you can see that so whichever animation you like whichever effect you like you can play with these options all the options are available to you so it's a very handy plugin to have in angular applications in order to float your social menu in whichever position you want and add your social networks so thanks very much guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next one